Hello, welcome to another episode in scripting in Roblox. So today we're actually going to finally get into scripting instead of just using the command line. So first things first, um, the first thing you want to do, uh, the first thing you need to know is how to actually add a script to your place. Uh, in this case we're just going to put a script in the workspace so um, I'm just going to make sure I have the workspace selected in the explorer window and in the, ba ba the basic objects I'm going to just search script and then you have a local script and a regular script just double click on the regular script we'll get into we'll get into local scripts later so this will pop up and you'll have print hello world just go ahead and delete that you won't need it um, and yeah so now let me explain the behavior of scripts uh, also before you can see that our script appeared in this in the explorer window let's go ahead and name it tutorial you don't have to do this unless you actually reference the name of the script while you're scripting the name of the script doesn't really matter but um, yeah the script name doesn't normally matter in almost any case sometimes it does but sometimes it doesn't um, you'll figure it out when it when the name of the script matters okay but anyway uh, let me explain the behavior of a script so scripts um, this script will run since it's in the workspace all the scripts that are in the workspace will run. If we were to hit Control X to to cut it, and then select the lighting and right click and then do Paste into, and then move it into the lighting, so that will put our script into the lighting. The script will not run when the game starts. So let's just drag it back into the workspace, and here we are. Um, there are some other cases. I think if the script is inside a player, it will run. Um, but I'll get into those details later. Um, for the next few episodes, we'll just be using scripts inside the workspace. That's all that matters. So when we run the game, so say we see this um, this green arrow that will simulate a little. Uh, it, it'll be as if the game is running without any players in it or anything. So let's just hit run. As you can see, nothing is really happening, um, but. Um, it, it say we were to have like an unanchored brick. Actually, let's do that here. So let's just select this brick. Um, let's unanchor it here. We, you can, as you can see, yeah. See, that's just gonna uh, that's just gonna move and stuff. But we'll reset it, and then it'll just go back to its normal position. And as you can see, it'll be anchored again. So, um, along with that thing, along along with those things happening with uh, physics working. While the game is running, scripts will also run. So let's just jump right into it here. Like, um, oh, let me explain something. So I can't remember if I explained this in the last video, but there is a method called print, and do little parentheses. So type print, and then closing and ending parentheses, and then have two quotation marks, just like that. And then type in whatever you want, like um, hello world. This is. Uh, this is similar to what what was already in the script when you first created it, um, but it was uh, kind of weird. Um, this is normally how I how I do things. You want to have the parentheses. So let's go ahead and exit out, and then if we hit run, in the output window, we'll have hello world, uh, which is exactly what we typed. So let's reset it again, and then uh, find our script. Okay, we won't need that anymore. So that's all the print does. Um, it's good for debugging, so like um, you can see at what point your script will stop working in case it's not totally obvious. But I'll get we'll get into debugging later in a different episode probably. In this in this episode, I mainly want to talk about I wanted to talk about the behaviors of scripts um, as far as when you run the game and um, and variables. So um, scripts, of course, they run from top to bottom. So you'll say like uh, print Bob, and then print Kevin, and so it will first print Bob, and then it will print, and then it will print Kevin. So that's pretty simple. Now, um, now I want to talk about variables. Uh, what a variable is? It's a simple way to make sure. 
Um, hmm, let me explain this. Let's actually just type it in right here. So let's say x equals 10, okay? Um, then, um, so yeah, now every time we type x in this script, it will, uh, it will assume we're saying 10. Um, now let's print x. In this case, you don't need quotations. If you do add quotations, it's, it's just going to print the letter x inside the output window, which makes sense, right? You know, if it's in quotations, then it will print exactly what you put in the quotations. If you don't have any quotations, then we can say print x, and let's see what happens here. You can expect that when we run the game, it's going to print 10 in the output window, So, um, which it just did, and let's reset again. So keep in mind, uh, remember to reset the game. If you forget to do that, and then you uh, work on the script a whole bunch, it's just going to it's gonna cause problems because... Um, once you res once you actually do reset the game, you're gonna lose everything you did in that script. Um, you'll figure that out um, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully, uh, in a way that doesn't cause you too many problems. Uh, now let's perform some basic uh, some basic math. So you can say plus. Um, obviously, plus does uh, you know it adds um, one thing to another. So let's say x. Or let's say um, let's set another vari variable. We could say y equals um, 15. Um, okay, yeah, let's do that. Y equals 15, and now uh, let's say z equals x plus y. Now, of course, um, z is going to be equal to 25 because 10 plus 15 is 25. So um, x plus y. You don't have to have this space, by the way. I like to have spaces, though, because it's, it looks more clean and easy to read. Um, you don't need these spaces either, either but this um, these are equal signs. Uh, so, yeah. z equals x plus y. And let's go ahead and print z. Print z. Okay. So now let's exit that out and run the game. And down here it's going to print 25 because it printed z and z is equal to 25. Now let's reset and yeah so that is um, that's good to know variables for uh, for many reasons we'll be using lots and lots of variables in scripting so um, for example let's say you had a script that uh, um, it used the same number throughout the entire thing uh, instead of just uh, if, if what, say you wanted to change that number in, in your script, uh, instead of just typing um, changing the number everywhere, you could sign you could assign a variable to it, and then you'd only have to change the variable. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Um, it's just kind of a simple thing that you'll figure it out in time. So that has been episode three, I believe. In if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong, actually. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you all next video.